We've got some fresh new talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. You are here. This is your world. Who will you be in it? How will you impact your family, your community, your world? It's your time to evolve. So what's next? Now, for you. Explore. Get cooking in the kitchen. And not just any kitchen. There's a new world welcoming you. Your next journey might just be on your block. You are here. How far will you go with just a high school diploma? How much farther could you go with a certificate or a degree from a California community college? Have you ever heard of dual enrollment? <laughs> you can attend high school and a community college at the same time. But I know, I know, you're here. You're wondering how to get there. There is a simple way to get there. Culinary. Ingredients transform in front of your eyes. A California community college can do the same for your raw talent and your fresh mind. Community college, I like to think about it as like a really big table and everyone's invited to the table. So only in a community college class can you um, be elbow to elbow stirring soup with um, someone from a country you did not even know existed before you took the class. Um, maybe a coworker that you work in the same company, you'd never met each other, or maybe someone that's actually your neighbor. I never know who's gonna show up the first night. So the first night, it's like, who are my students this time around? And they've always been amazing. Um, in one class, I had the editor of a major newspaper. I had a mom who had sleeping kids at home that were staying there with their dad while she came. This is her first time leaving the house and doing something for herself. I had a um, executive from a big company who had never even made toast for themselves before. And all of these people are sitting around the same table and we're all stirring our pots of soup, you know, together at the stove. I'm a people person for sure. I love talking to people. I love meeting people and be connected with people, share story, learn about their culture. I have been on a worldwide culinary adventures for about five years now. And I have traveled to 35 countries and I'm only exploring new flavor for recipes and fresh cooking method. And I'm originally from Vietnam. I was an international student when I was first moved to the United States. Many people suggest me that I should do two years at the community college and then transfer to a university for another two years. In that case, I would pay a lot less money. For me, it was such a big deal and I was super excited, you know, throughout the whole family, like I was the first to attend the college. At the beginning, when I was like thinking about it, I was like, oh, it's not gonna be fun at all since it's 100% virtual and it's like we're not in person class. So I thought it was gonna be boring at first, but then when we started class, I was basically, my mind changed. Like it was really actually fun and it brought me into like a piece and like I was in my zone and very comfortable with doing this class. And it's like, oh, it was more fun than I expected it to be. So I graduated with a few associate's degrees, such as social behavioral science, business management, restaurant management, and culinary arts. A lot of my friends are very, very jealous about it because it's like, um, it's like, it's not just a class. It's like, it helps you. It gives, it, it's good for your transcript and it gives you college credits. And it's like, you're actually considered a college student, which is actually pretty fun. We basically just use the laptop. I put it in my kitchen and basically we all come into the virtual class and um, 
we basically just get all of our ingredients and our chef just puts the recipe on the laptop and we just follow her step by step. So I've been doing this my whole life. When I was five, my parents got me an easy bake oven for Christmas and I started baking little cakes for all of my dolls and my toys and my siblings and I kind of just took off from there. So my first job out of culinary school, I worked as an assistant pastry chef at a Hyatt Resort. And I was there for two weeks before the head pastry chef went out for hand surgery. And she was supposed to be gone for two weeks and she didn't come back for two and a half years. So I became the head pastry chef of a resort, a restaurant and a banquet facility um, at age 19. I looked at it as like culinary school part B where I was actually, they trusted me enough to give me all of these things. And um, I learned a ton in that job. Like my parents always say, it doesn't matter what you do, just do what you love and go to college and make a good career path. It's not the highest paying job in the world, but it's never been about that. Um, I think it's the most life giving. And there were moments in my life where I left and I thought, I think I should pay you for this one because what I got out of it was so good. I found myself most satisfied when my food makes people happy and that fulfill my life. And that feeling gives me so much energy and happiness to keep moving forward. If I didn't go to the community college, I would probably be in Vietnam right now and just still wondering what I'm good at and what my career goal is. I have so much energy and I need to move and I need to do something during the day. I need to get out of my house. So there's no way I can work in a cubicle box and having a computer in my face for eight hours and sitting there for eight hours and missing food and drinking, you know, like all this stuff. Like, like it probably won't last that long. In a kitchen, um, especially on TV, you see lots of ego and lots of you know bravado and whatever. But I think my favorite chefs in the whole world that I've worked for are incredibly hardworking, tender-hearted, compassionate, humble people. It's actually very fun to work in the kitchen with the team. I used to be the only female chef in the kitchen and surrounded with all men. And you know, the language in the kitchen, you know, they, they loud and they're very like aggressive and it's just super funny like how like I can deal with that and everybody give me a lot of respects actually. College students hearing their stories like how they work in the industry so that makes me think one day I want to be there with them and like be in their position to explain my story. We really take care of each other in the kitchen but you have to have passion for us I think to be able to stay in this industry and move forward. After high school, I plan to um, go to either community college or Cal State and continue my career path of the culinary arts industry. And I do want to be that chef that, you know, other professional chefs come in to see how good my food tastes. I wanted to expand my name and title through word of mouth. I'm very glad to serve and cook for many local residents. And I want to create a life here in America, having a small business and family. There's so much tension in our world and there's so much um, strife in our world. And I would love to create opportunities where there can just be a beautiful table with like delicious food where people can just sit down and realize that they're neighbors and they can, they can break bread together. In a lot of my classes, because my students are from all over the world, um, different ages, and yet we come together, we cook together as a family and we sit down and have a family dinner at the end of my classes. And um, some amazing conversations have happened at that table. And that gives me hope for the world. One day, you will say, you were here. Where are you going? And what will the rest of your story be? A California community college can change your life. There are 28 California community colleges near the Bay to choose from. Don't want to stay in the area? Look, there are another 87 community colleges in California. 115 in total. What are you waiting for? Your time to evolve is now. Take it
baby. Acapella there right are now. some things you run to and some things you run from. But there's one thing for certain you cannot outrun. That's Hello, world, give me your ears. Now, if you got it. Get up, go out and get 